एक्स्ट्रा टाइम मिष्टि कथा बांगलार नतून मिष्टि Over the years, 
when I started. It wasn't the same when I was young, when I played first class cricket, when I hadn't got into the national side. Uh, you know, insecurities were there, self doubts were there that you know you may may succeed, you may not succeed. But once I played that test match at Lords, the first test match, and got back to back test hundreds and Lords in heading, I actually believed within that you know I might fail, but I won't fail for a long period of time. The only reason I can fail is if I don't put enough effort in my game. If I don't work hard and I'm and I'm not trying to improve and and I'm and my and my mind has gone away from the game to other things, that's the only way I can fail. So I made sure that I kept that part of my of my life fine, that part of my cricket fine, and and the rest I knew that you know I will succeed because you know there are two things to success. One is you might show to the world that you know I'm good, I am I am someone who will deliver. But the most important thing is when you start believing from within, when you when you talk to yourself every day and say that no 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 I think I will score runs, whether it's a Magra, whether it's a Pollock, whether it's a Akram, a Murali or Vaughan, I know I will score runs. And I think that's the most important stage to get to in terms of your mindset, in terms of any profession, whether it's in business, whether it's in sport, whether it's in politics or whether it's in art. If you start from within believing that you know I'm good enough at this level and if I keep working hard I'll, I'll succeed, that solves, that solves the, the problem because coach is fine, trainer is fine, administrators are fine but when you cross that line, it's you. It's that white ball coming out of the bowler's hand and only you can hit it, nobody will do it for you. Any opinions, any ideas, any coaching is gone. You know, when I play the sport, I only play to win. Uh, I might lose uh, a few games, but at the end of the tournament, at the end of a series, you must finish on the winning side. That's that's the only uh, only way I look at sport or anything I do. Uh, sometimes, you know, sometimes it's a problem also because you don't find a way to get away from it, and you're so involved and you're so deep rooted to anything you do that it becomes an issue at times. But Delhi always had a had a had a young team, had a lot of talent. But in sport, it's about bringing everyone together with the same purpose of, of winning. So when I joined them this year from nowhere, uh, I joined them and, and Ricky was there with me, Ricky Ponting, who was the head coach. So uh, when we both met before the start of the tournament, I said, Ricky, you know, it's no point playing great like this. You know, Delhi has never reached the uh, playoffs for the last eight years. So, you know, you've been in World Cup winning teams. Ricky won the 2003-2007 World Cup as captain of Australia. You know, I have played in winning teams, what, maybe a runners up in the World Cup but you still need to get to the final. So, I said, you know, we can't play cricket like this. Uh, we might lose, but we might fight every day for the next 16-17 uh, games of the IPL. Uh, we had a young team, it was important to get them to believe, believe in themselves. Uh, and, uh, and, you know, when I played, it was, a, it was a bit different because I could actually go in the middle and do it. But when you're not playing and you're looking after the team from outside, it gets just a bit more difficult because you cannot execute, you cannot bat, you cannot hit sixes, you cannot captain, you cannot pick wickets and it becomes difficult and tougher mentally also. So I think a lot of credit should go to the players who actually turned it around. Yes, we guided them, uh, we showed them the right way, how to play, how to prepare for matches, how to think before a game, how to execute what you want to do. But at the end of the day, it's the players who did it. So a lot more credit to them. Actually, I'm a very patient person. I deal with it. I have a, I have a theory. You walk through the airport, somebody takes a photograph, you stand for a second. Moment the click happens, you walk forward. So I don't ask yes, no, why, why not. So just go through it. I'll tell you a story. Rishabh Pant, in one of the games in Delhi, he was just ahead of me and I was just behind him. So the typical Delhi gentleman uh, took a photo of Rishabh. We won that game but Rishabh got out in the last over trying to finish the game. And he took the selfie with Rishabh and then he came to me. He said, sir, can I have a selfie? I said, yes. So he takes a selfie and says, sir, you do something in the last over. He said, why don't you say that? You have a photo of him before. And he was far away from 10 yards. Why don't you say that? No, sir, I'm telling you. So you are used to all this, and you, know, you just have to, 
you just have to deal with this. There is no, there is no solution. There is no way out. Just stand, take a photo, listen what you say, and you forget and go back to your room. That's the only way you can deal with it. There is nothing more to it. लेटेस्ट निज़ और एक्सक्लूसिव भिडियोर संगे अपडेट थकते एखी सबसक्राइब कर यूट्यूब चैनल बेलैकने क्लिक करते भूलें ना जान